Hi there once again. Today I will be showing you how you can make a bootable pen drive using an ISO or image file so that you can install any operating system through it. So first of all you need a very small software that is Yumi or your universal multiboot installer. So you can go to this link right there it will be in the description box also and just need to download this so basically it's very small file and it does not have any type of installation you need not to do any type of installation so I will just show it in a moment so here you can see I have downloaded it just double click on that and click on run right there and you need to click on I agree and here we go so let's first check out my pen drive or thumb drive that I have connected to my computer here you could see your so first of all for making an bootable pen drive through this software first of all you need to format it just right click and click on format make sure it on F8032 and I have HB pen drive so it is good that you will to make a long format but I will just click on quick format right there hit ok and here we go format complete just close it right there and after that open up that software right there and click on that select that drive letter make sure you have selected that right drive letter that is H right there and there are many many other things that you can download it directly and make it bootable there are many Linux and many other softwares so you can see up there you can also download Fluence Boot CD or Ultimate Boot CD right there. You see many softwares are there. You can just click on download that ISO that is optional. So now we only need to make a bootable pen drive using an ISO. So scroll down right there in the bottom and then click on try an unlisted ISO. That is the first one, not the second one that is run from RAM the first one and then click on browse right there and I have a ISO in my D drive just click on that it's basically Windows 7 and click on open and then click on create now here is a warning box and let's see all the system is ok or not let's see the that H right there Okay, so also the existing label will be overwritten that it will rename it so basically click on yes and it will be taking some time also you can make a bootable USB using this part command from your command prompt but then you need to extract all the items from ISO to your computer using any type of extractor like daemon tools or image burn and then after that you can copy all that item and then paste it into a USB drive that bootable USB drive but here you don't need to do those things it will just make a bootable USB drive I will show you in a moment so here you can see it will take some time up there the copying should take some time so I will just pause the video right here okay so here we go about 60 seconds remaining Let's click on more details right there it will take some time about 20 minutes or maybe 15 minutes if you have a good pen drive it will take about 15 minutes but I am using SanDisk which is very poor quality so it is taking some time about 25 minutes right there Okay, 
right so just refresh it a few times now after you have done this you need to go to your bios and you need to change the boot order to look for usb drive first that means to enable booting from usb drive or check for bootable usb drive first and after that default hard disk so that is pretty much easy so i will just not show it but i will show you how it looks how it will boot into a system and also in your pen drive how it will extract not extract but how it can make a, your pen drive bootable and then click on next and click on no right there and finish and I will show you my pen drive right there you see here you could see here not all the files have been extracted and that is made into your pen drive but if you go to that multiput folder and ISO is you can see that the ISO file right there so it may make an way to boot from ISO file so that's basically it I will show you how it looks when it boot it up so I will just restart my computer right now here I am restarting my computer right there you could see my computer screen and here we go and here you could see you me multiboot USB and you can continue to boot from first H hard drive or HD that is default and directly bootable ISOs so that's basically it looks like so I will just boot from default right there or you can click on directly bootable ISOs and it will again show you from where you can boot so you can boot from that CD ROM or back to main menu right there so that's how it looks like so that's it thanks for watching please rate share comment and subscribe and I will see you guys soon in the next video.